Hello everyone and welcome to Simple Rockets. Now you guys really enjoyed my series on Learn to Fly, so I think you will like this game a lot too. Now there's no penguins in it, so I apologize, but there are rockets and there's orbiting and all kinds of cool stuff. It's like Kerbal Space Program, but a lot simpler, hence the name Simple Rockets. So I did try and record this game a long time ago, guys, and the recording got corrupted, so it never made it to the internet, but I'm gonna try again today. I know a little bit about the game, but I am gonna go through all the training again you guys can get acquainted with the game, I'll get reacquainted with the game, and then there's all kinds of challenges and stuff. Who knows where we'll get today? We'll just start, and we'll see how it goes. I applaud you for training first. Most people want to skip the training and jump straight into the action. That is how you die, guys. You don't just fly a rocket unless you know how to fly a rocket, obviously. Let's go. Every ship must have a command pod. This is the brain of your ship, and you must keep it safe. If it blows up, then your mission is over. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I know a lot of this stuff, guys, to get a command pod and a fuel tank and an engine. And then you can stack the fuel tanks to add more fuel, of course. And then there's detachers, and there's other stages, and you can separate them and all that good stuff. Um, some of this is similar to Learn to Fly, and if you've ever played Kerbal Space Program, it's really similar to that as well. It's just not as complicated, because there's only two dimensions instead of three. So when, you, when your first stage runs out of fuel, you can activate the detacher, and it will drop the used engine and tank. Now your second stage will continue without the dead weight, of course. Use your imagination and build crazy rocket ships. The bigger they are, the harder they are to control, but half the fun is watching them fly apart and explode. Sure is. All right, so training, guys, is just a bunch of words and pictures. There's not actually anything for you guys to see. So I went through it. It's all uh, pretty straightforward. I actually know how to do most of this stuff because of the fact that I've put a few hours into Kerbal Space Program. So let's go to blast off practice. We're just going to blast off, and then we can we can orbit, and eventually we can fly to the moon and all that good stuff. It's not going to be easy, okay, because I'm the one piloting this ship. Let's keep things simple for the first challenge. Just build a rocket that can fly straight up to 100 kilometers in altitude. Don't worry about landing. Just get up there. Okay, let's get up there, dude. So here is our rocket. We just have a little command pod right here, guys, and uh, they got a little neat thing so you can see the, uh, um, like the center of it so you can make things symmetrical and all that good stuff. And we're gonna add some stuff. We're gonna add some fuel. All right, so these are the fuel tanks, sloshy. Look at this thing, okay. Let's put on a, a couple of sloshies, eh? Why not? Two of them, and then we'll get a we'll get a maybe a blast of 170. I don't know what's overkill here and what isn't guys I'm not familiar with this stuff satellites. Should I put a satellite in there somewhere? Hey, dude Do you want a satellite you put a sat? Yeah satellite time? I don't know what that does now There's other stuff I can do here guys, but we're only just trying to get this thing to go up So I'm assuming maybe you can go up now. Yeah, so uh, we just gotta take our throttle bring it up to 100 and Activate the engine by tapping the lightning bolt icon on the bottom left. What about spacebar? Oh, that works too. Oh, good. And you can just zoom out on this little guy. And you got this little wheel here where you can turn. But I don't want to turn. I want to go up. Shit, this is a bad idea. This is point up. This is close enough, right? And then we can speed it up. Fast forward. Uh, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, yada, yada, yada. But our fuel is going down pretty quick, guys. So I might have to actually get a second stage in here and pop that off. But no, we're actually accelerating pretty fast. I think we can do it. 60, 70, 80, 90. Ta-da! Great. You've accomplished your mission. I know. I'm just, I'm just that good. It's crazy, right? Exit. And now, guys, we do orbit practice. So this is where things are gonna get a little bit complicated. This level will start you out in midair, ready for you to take the controls. You must give the rocket the boost it needs to make orbit around Smurf. So, we are, uh, mm, I gotta go to the map, map view. Let's take a, take a look at the map. So, okay. So we're already gonna go up to the right, uh, the right height. So it's about 100 and, I don't know, 120 or something, 130. Okay, and then we just need to do a pro-grade burn, which means we just need to burn in the direction that we're traveling. And that will make the, uh, the, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. that will make the orbit around the Earth nice and circular. Because right now you're just going to go back down and crash. Nobody wants to crash and die, probably. Uh, so just fast forward that again. And I'm not sure the best point to do this. Maybe 15 seconds before. Oh, it's telling me to increase the throttle. I'm sorry, bro. So point, point over here. Point, point over here somewhere. Uh, increase the throttle. Well, can we get rid of the map? There we go. Increase the throttle at 50%. And we're just going to start burning. Align the orange heading arrow with the white arrow on the nav circle. Oh, that's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Increase the throttle at 100%. Great. Now keep your heading on the white arrow until you achieve orbit. So you just take a look at the map again here. And look at that. You see the way this is just kind of stretching out? This is what we want. Only 15 minutes until we hit the ground, and that number's going up, but eventually it's not gonna be a number at all because it's gonna be um, 
the orbit. And may, maybe it'll tell me how long it takes to orbit. I don't really know. Let's just watch it happen, guys. This is beautiful. Speed it up, bro. Oh, okay. Stop, stop, stop. No, we don't need to stop. We'll just keep going, okay? Because I already did it. So, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That is a nice orbit right there. And as you guys can see, there's a smoon over here. So if you stop, I'm not going to stop because to hell with it. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to leave Earth's orbit. And I'm never coming back, okay? This planet kind of sucks, don't you think? Well, technically, it's not Earth. It's Smurfs. So maybe Smurf is better. Maybe Smurfs live on Smurf or something. You know, they probably suck less than humans. Humans suck. All right, now we're moving on to landing practice. This is where it's going to get crazy, guys, because I'm going to suck ass at this. Practice landing on Smoon. It's not an easy thing to do, so this is a great place to learn some technique. All right, activate your landing legs. Dude, I don't know how to do that. But button to do, is there a button to do that? Uh, duh. Mm. You use spacebar to activate the landing legs, guys. Increase throttle to about 60. Uh, that's done. I know I'm falling too fast. I'm trying not to fall too fast. I don't want to die. Where's the map at? Show me the map. Am I hitting the thing yet? Oh, it's so close. I don't even, I can't even see it. I don't even know what's happening. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm not dead. 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 This is great. Okay, we got to get a little bit, little bit going here. Just got to kind of even it out a little bit, right? Is this the best way to do it? Point up. You want to point, point up in the air. Don't, don't hit the ground. Where are we? Well, hey, touchdown. Just got to hold it. And we're good. Excellent. You have landed. All right. Thank you very much. I, uh, uh, I'm bad at this. Fly your rocket as far as you can without going above 5,000 meters. You must fly more than 50 kilometers in order to pass. Don't worry about landing safely. Go as far as you can and do a spectacular crash landing. They're telling me to crash. Okay. I will try my best. I think that's what I'm good at. All right. So, uh, we just had to build a rocket again now. Uh, you can add wheels. I don't think we need wheels. Nope, no wheels. Uh, let's put that in the garbage. There we go. Okay, let's put on a sloshy. Just maybe one sloshy would be enough, you know? And then a Blasto 170. And uh, wh why not just leave it at that, you know? As long as I don't go above 5,000, I'm cool. So point it like that and uh, activate. Oh, here she goes. Okay, so don't go above, don't go above 5,000. That's all. So if you point enough sideways, it actually, um, you'll start falling, right? Yeah, there you go. You see that number up there? That number is going to go back down now. So I don't want it to go all the way down. This is going to be easy. I just got to find the right amount. Okay, let me hit 100%. I might as well be on 100% throttle here. Okay, somewhere around that, and then we can speed it up. And if we get too high, we can always just drop a little bit. Like, we are getting a bit high now. So just let go of the throttle. You can just fall for a little while, you know? Wait, what? Oh, for some reason it just stopped, but we're good again. Speed up. And now we're going back down again. Put the throttle back up. Let's keep it going. All right. Okay, you know what? I need to turn this way. Turn that way and go. No, I hit 5,000 in altitude. You got to die now. You, you did this. There you go. Perfect. Oh, did I... Did I run out? Okay, I ran out of, I ran out of fuel. Let's just get some more fuel in here, okay? Just hold on, hold on, I gotta go back. I gotta make it better. Let me make it better. So now guys, we're gonna put on another sloshy like we did before, I forgot. I was like, yeah, uh, the ship we used before was perfect. Uh, but the ship we used before had two sloshies and I only put one on, so that's a big fail, dude. All right, so now, 100%, boom, turn, and go. And I guess, yeah, you can also use the arrow keys for this. Okay, I got it. What about WASD? Yes, of course. If you make a game and don't allow people to use WASD, you should never make games again. Don't hit the ground, dude. Don't hit the ground. That'd be bad. That'd be real bad. Okay, now we're going up a little bit. Good. And double speed. We're good, guys. We got lots of fuel. Okay, we're going to go nice and fast. Nice and fast. I got to turn down a little bit. Uh, turn down for what? Well, I don't want to go to 5,000 because if I do, they're going to get mad at me. Yeah, keep going. Yes, I did it. And now, spectacular crash. Get out of here. Get out of here with your stuff. I just want to see a crash, normal speed. And oh, we got we got a little while yet. Okay, guys, we're just just hold on. And bam. I like it. Mm. Next up, guys, maximum thrust. You must build a rocket that can exceed a speed of 750 meters per second before it reaches an altitude of 2,000 meters. 
That sounds like it's really fast. You must be careful not to stray outside of your lane or your score will not count. Okay. So what they're saying, let me just build something real quick so I can take a look here, guys. All right, more slashies. No, you know what? Nah, that slashie's not good enough. Delete it. We want a bigger slashie. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, I probably could have just used one of these in the first place instead of two 3000s, but hey, uh, math is not what I do. And a Blasto 425 as well, okay? Now, uh, this is the lane. So let's just see how fast this goes. We only got to get up to 2,000. Uh, we, we only have until 2,000. So 300 or 200, 300, and yeah, we're not going to make it. Okay, so we got to 400. So we need like basically double the boosters on here. Not to worry, guys. We can do that. Let's go back and uh, let's do some stuff. I think we just need to add hmm, a strut. No, 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 not a strut. Get the hell out of here with that. Can I just maybe pop this on? Yeah, there you go. You just pop it on like that. Okay. And then we just got to add a couple more blastos. This is going to be fine, guys. We got this. Okay, see? And, um, yeah. And go. So this should work, guys, because we got a lot more power now, right? Uh, maybe not. Maybe just... Uh, wait, 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 wait. What? One of them is not even firing? Is that what you're telling me? That's not cool. This was worse than before. Oh, you know what? You know what, guys? Let me let me tell you what. We need to have slushy these ones. We need just a couple of these slushies on here. And do you know why? Because we don't need to use a lot of fuel. And 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 if we have a bunch of these things on, they're gonna fire like crazy. And um, since we have way less fuel, we have basically a third of what we had before. We're just gonna shoot right up. Okay. Yeah, it was twenty-three thousand before, and now it's eight point something. So perfect. And now, watch and learn. Way less weight and just as much thrust, and put it up to 100% and go. Oh yeah, 100, 200, 300. Oh, oh, stay in your lane, stay in your lane. Whoa, shit, you want more of these things? Okay, hold on, I gotta put more sloshies on. Maybe even a sloshy 750 instead, maybe that'd be good. I think this is gonna be fine, cause it's just as much as before, less weight. We got it, 100%, and go. And I just gotta make sure this thing turns a little bit. 400, 500, 600, 750, did it. Level complete, bitch. Optimum trajectory. You are given a small rocket with very little fuel and you must fly this rocket as far as you can. You must travel at least 15 kilometers to win. Atmospheric drag can really slow you down, but that drag decreases quickly as you gain altitude. Wait, what? You, you want me to go 15 kilometers? What? Oh, gotta fly that way. Okay, so now you guys, uh, let's go up to like 30% so I can get a nice start here and then go like that. Wait! Yeah, just, uh, there you go. Okay, what we need to do actually, guys, is we need to just put it on like a 45 degree angle or some shit and just do that and then just go. That's optimum tra trajectory, right? Because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's gonna go up really high and it's also gonna go over really far and uh, how far do I need to get? Am I gonna do this? Let me speed it up. And we'll see what's going to happen here. You did not fly 15 kilometers. So maybe we'll try a little bit of a different different angle like that. That's, that's good. We got it. Okay, too much up, not enough over. Go. That's the good stuff, Miranda. I'm afraid we made some very big mistakes, Miranda. This is not going to work. Come on, come on, 12, ah, shit. Okay, maybe, maybe we go up. Maybe we go up first and then we go over. Or maybe like, maybe like this, we go like this uh, and then we, we cut the engines just to 10%. And then when we get up nice and high, then we'll go over and then we'll have more tra trajectory. Cause it's the atmospheric drag, right? I mean, it's to hell with that shit. So let me try like over like that and go way on up. Will this do the trick? Mm, probably not. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, 13, 14, 15, got it. Keep going and see how far you can get. Dude, I ain't got nothing left, okay? It's, it's, it's doing its own thing here. You've accomplished your mission, hell yeah. See how quickly you can achieve an orbit around Smurth. Your periapsis must be at least 100 kilometers for your orbit to count. Okay, so I got to build my own thing, right? Don't worry, guys. I got this under control. I'm gonna use stages and everything. I'm gonna go crazy here. All right, so we're gonna have, um, when, when we're orbiting, we don't wanna have a lot of weight. We just wanna have a little guy. So let's put on like a sloshy 1500 and then we'll put on like a tiny 85, okay? And then what you do is you add a little detacher. So detacher is here. 
So you put that attacher right here like that. And then we're gonna have a sloshy 6,000. Okay, this is, this is the real shit. And we're gonna put on a nice big blasto. We're gonna get up to 15k. We're gonna turn on a 15 degree angle. We're gonna go up. We're gonna get our apoapsis thing about. We're gonna drop our stage, and we're just gonna get a little orbit going. It's gonna be easy as pie. Okay. Also, guys, um, a thing that you should know is that it's much easier uh, to do orbit maneuvers and spin your rocket around and all that good stuff if you have a uh, a small a small spaceship. So we drop. We drop the extra weight, the dead weight, and then we can keep on going and do these little maneuvers and things. Okay, let's go. So, 100% and go. And we just gotta take a look up here. We want that to hit 15K, and then we're just gonna turn it a little bit. So I got a lot of fuel, guys, and I am increasing my speed. So I am increasing uh, the speed at which I get to 15K. Obviously, that's how speed works. So we're just gonna do that, and almost there. 12, 13, 14 and turn so that's about 15 there. I don't know what the uh, like uh, it's probably more than 15 Is there a thing that tells me what degree I'm at that doesn't matter. It's fine uh, So then we want to look at the map here. We want our apoapsis to be oh shit w Wait stop go back in time <laughs> Too far do the same thing again and fast forward obviously because who's got time to do anything these days and then we're gonna turn it about 15 or whatever. We'll check the map. The apoapsis is already far enough. It's at 118, so I cut everything. And now, uh, where the hell did the... There we go. Okay, so now we have two and a half minutes, but obviously we're just gonna fast forward that because I'm not waiting two and a half minutes, dude. Then, guys, we're gonna get to the top. And then, and then when we're like 30 seconds away... 20, let's go with 20 seconds away. Uh, let's actually drop this weight. So then we're gonna turn... Um, well, let's wait a little bit longer because we're not even pointing that way at all yet. Uh, and then we're gonna want to turn this way, right? So let's just start burning a little bit. Oh, activate there. We're gonna burn a little bit so that we're turning in the right direction, and then we're just gonna go. This takes a little while sometimes, but as you can see, that number is going up, which means that we're prolonging our life, and our life is gonna be real prolonged if we can actually get an orbit going. <laughs> you know, probably should have started burning a little bit quicker, but let's just uh, fast forward this. We're we're gonna be okay. So there you go. We're almost there. A little bit further. Mm-hmm and cut the engines so now the apoapsis is 155 the periapsis is 90. um so if we want to actually fix that we're going to need to come back over to the apoapsis again and and burn a little bit it just makes the other side of the circle bigger you know you can't actually change this side of the circle at all because you're in it and the circle is where you're going so this side of the circle is fine the other side of the circle we got to make a little bit bigger because i don't think we're done yet so let's warp warp speed so we're going 25 times speed we're gonna spin around this thing this is too low right here it's 90 that's not good we could actually bring the apoapsis down to 90 but they told me that i need to have at least 100 or it's not gonna count i hate your rules and i reject your authority but i'll do what you say because that's the only option i have so now guys when we get here like probably i don't know like 10 seconds before or something doesn't really matter we got a point where we're traveling which is right here you've got to burn a little bit so that you can actually turn we got to get pointing in the right direction here. All right. Good. Now, hey, hey, stop what you're doing. Go go the other way. So you're being stupid. So we're at 94 right now because we did burn a little bit, and now we're going to burn a little bit more. Okay, so let's pop it up to like 50%. Do a nice 50% burn, and boom. That should be... Oh, I did it. And stop. So now the apoapsis and the periapsis are really similar. Apoapsis being the, the highest point and periapsis being the lowest point. All that good stuff. Ta-da. You have achieved orbit. It only took me 28 minutes, guys. But luckily, we have warp, so it wasn't actually that. Oh, wait, we're not. We're still going. You gotta, you gotta stop that, dude. All right, we're getting there, guys. I'm a freaking astronaut now, okay? And there's a parachute landing thing. Starting in orbit around Smurth with a small rocket, you must make your way back to Smurth and parachute safely to the ground. Do a retrograde burn to bring your orbit into Smurth's atmosphere. Detach your engine and then deploy your parachute. Easy stuff, guys. Easy stuff. So they're going to pop us in here. Uh, let's take a look at the map here. Zoom that out so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, oh, Jesus. Look how far away we are. So um, this is our apoapsis. I don't know, it doesn't really matter what we do here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn. Because right now, this is the direction I'm traveling. So I want to spin back the other way. This is the retrograde position. So let's just do a small burn to turn. There we go. Um, a small burn to stop. Stop right there. Yep, and then we're just going to burn until this uh, periapsis is like basically, well, I would do it so it hits the earth, but that's probably not a good idea either. I'm going to do it until 
uh, until it's pretty low, like maybe a normal orbit. Then we'll get in a normal orbit so we're not traveling too fast when we hit the Earth, because too fast is bad. You'll die. Maybe. I don't know. The parachute might make up for it. Who knows? I want to be safe here. So let's just say we want to go with like 500k for now, okay? Because then we can just warp. So let's just go warp speed a thousand times. 7,500 times. And it'll slow me down automatically when it gets so far. Because you can't warp at 7,500 times when you're, say, right in orbit or something. Okay? Looking good. Slow that down now. And when we get to this periapsis, we are going to go with another retrograde thingamabob. Let's go there. Um, so yeah, the retrograde is over here now. It's going to change a little bit because we still got a few minutes. I'm going to warp it. Okay, this is good. And then we're going to point here. We need to start spinning ourselves around. Oh, Jesus. I f forgot we're speeding. Don't speed. Speeding is bad. Are you not going to point in the direction I want you to point in, idiot? There. Just just go. So now we're actually decreasing our other orbit. Because this apoapsis is way on over here. You know? So we'll bring that down um, really low. I don't know if there's anyone like in this spaceship, guys. But I hope there isn't because there's a big chance we're going to crash. <laughs> All right. So let's bring that down to... Whoop. Okay, uh, this should still go down. There you go. Yep, and we want to have like Yeah, there you go. Let's go with a let's go with an orbit like that So we're actually gonna go into Earth's atmosphere here. I think uh, maybe a little bit more Come on. There you go So now we're gonna go into Earth's atmosphere, which is gonna slow us down because of the atmospheric drag So at this point we just need to warp Warping on up dude. Let's go. So guys, um I can definitely make a few episodes on this if you guys want to watch it. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff we can do, obviously. I think it'd be fun. And um, I would eventually like to play some more Kerbal Space Program. I've gotten a lot of requests for that in the past, and I have made a series in the past. But the game was just so much work. Like, I needed to I needed to figure out what I was going to do for each episode. And I needed to build things. And they took hours to make an episode on, on, on that game because I was just so bad at it. And there's so many things, and it's all complicated and stuff. But it's also a really, really awesome game. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. You might hate this. You might hate Simple Rockets. You might hate KSP, and you might love making penguins fly. Who knows? All right, so you can see, guys, we're in the atmosphere, and our speed is going down. So that's good. That's what you want. So you can take a look here, and you can see this apoapsis is coming in. And once it gets into the atmosphere, we're just going to be flying around the atmosphere for a bit. Uh, okay, we're, we're still alive. We're still alive. Here we are right here. Um, let's go ahead and point upwards, because I am kind of afraid I'm going to die. And I know that we're, we got like a parachute and stuff, but like seriously, just I need to chill. <laughs> so like at this point, guys, there's a lot of speed. Like I got to point in this direction and slow myself down because I don't really want to go 1400 meters per, per second. So we can slow ourselves down right here. So we're just kind of following directly onto Smurth. None of this stuff really matters that much, but I'm doing it anyway. There you go. Good work. All righty. So um, yeah, so at this point, I think we could probably just drop the stage. I'm not going to use the parachute just yet. We're just going to speed it up. So now we're really close to the ground. I'm going to pop this parachute out, and hopefully it's going to be cool. You're uh, you're going you're upside down, dude, Mr. P Mr. Parachute. Oh wait a minute, what? How do I how do I spin this? I don't want to be upside down. So the parachute is doing its job properly, which makes a lot more sense. But I just thought maybe I could rotate it. But I'm on the bottom of the earth, so they're going to show me this view. Okay, whatever you want to do is up to you. And look at this, guys. It's happening right now. A nice, beautiful landing. And touchdown. Now hold it for four seconds. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that only took six hours and 43 minutes, guys. And we're home safe. Mm. All right, guys, so I think that's a good place to end this. Let me know if you do want to see some more. I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy it because this is a really cool game. And as I said, if you like this, I might play some Kerbal Space Program as well. If you have any other games that involve flying that you think would be cool for me to play, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, just before we end this video, guys, this is the smaller system. So we have Smurkery, Sminus, Smurth, Smoon, Smurz, Smoopiter, Smattern, Smuranus, and Smeptoon. There's no Smudo because Smudo's not a planet anymore. <laughs> oh, I miss you, Smudo. So you can just fly off any planet you want, guys. You can take off from the Earth and go to the moon or the, the moon to Earth or the moon to the sun, perhaps. If you want to fly into the sun, I would imagine that's possible in this game. I hope it is because it might be something fun to do in a future episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.